hey what's up welcome we are on actually already on episode eight uh we left off i was doing a quick job i'm not in my cab right now uh, i'm trying to earn money to get a truck to add to the um to my garage so that way we can start earning some money and paying back the bank loan that we took out uh as you can see, I'm level 12 there, so I'm not very far in, and um, but it feels like we are. Uh, we haven't gone to a lot of places, so we're still exploring and learning as we go along. Just a second. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, roll out, huh? Oh, that reminds me. I need to set the pedals. I, uh, the pedals are messed up. And break. Okay. Okay. Should be good. My wheel was, you know what? My wheel, there's something wrong with it. It was uh, doing a bunch of weird stuff on my computer, like selecting stuff on my desktop. And like, if anybody knows anything about the G920, like doing, like, it was like pressing E button. And then I unplugged it and then it quit pressing E. Like, what the hell is that? Maybe it's just a, a firmware problem or uh, maybe it's the Logitech software. Something ain't right though. That's why the keys weren't working on the uh, on this last night. I even restarted the PC and it was doing it again. I, uh, I tried a different USB port and then it quit doing it, but I just, find it hard to believe that it's a USB port that's pressing the letter E. You know what I mean? That's just kind of weird. So, yeah, we'll see what happens here today. And it was like moving up and down on uh, selecting stuff on my desktop. 
I, I thought maybe it might be a virus, but as soon as I unplugged the wheel, it's gone. So I, I don't know. All right. Anyway. Oh, if you don't know what I'm talking about by leaving information in the comments uh, and you're watching live on Twitch, we uh, or I put all my videos over on Twitch or YouTube and you can find the YouTube link down below the video. Yeah. So yeah, we're on a quick job. We got, uh, it's a $60,000 job. So we sh might be able to buy a truck after this, hopefully for our employee that's just sitting around. I need your clothes, your boots and your motorcycle. <laughs> just kidding. Let's hit the road. Wait a minute. Where's my GP? There's no truck GPS in this? I thought on, I thought there was one in this truck. I guess not. Okay, we'll just use the HUD. All right, that's not too big of a deal. Uh, this is actually the first truck I've seen that doesn't have uh, a HUD in it built into the console. GPS, I mean, you know? Uh, that's all good. Um, It's not my truck, so I think we'll switch back to my truck after this though. I'm just gonna do one job. Cause it paid really good, that's why I took the job. because I smacked the shit out of my gas pedal uh, thing with a, uh, a barbell to move it over on the on the system that I uh, the stand I have for this wheel and uh, pedals maybe I messed something up you know, I never thought about that so I hope not. Hope I didn't break anything. But how could it be? No, because I unplugged it and plugged it back in and I quit doing it, so I don't know. I mean, to a different USB port. I'll have to test it again and plug it into a different USB port. Or the same one again and see if it starts doing it again. Then I'll know if it's a faulty port. I just got this computer a couple months ago. Double line, really? And you're gonna park there? Wow. Forced to break the law in front of an officer. speeding the whole time anyway. I'm trying to get used to this now that I have it set up properly with the wheels. Not the wheels, the, the pedals. I had the pedals all screwed up because there's this bar in between my legs where my leg has to wrap around because the wheel sits on top of this bar. 
200 meters. Turn right. Turn right. I gotta get used to this brakes. This brakes very abnormal. On the G920, it comes with like there's a a rubber stopper underneath of it that makes it sit up, so you have to press down harder on the brake. Then you would in a car. That's for damn sure. Way harder. Man, if I have a faulty USB port, that's going to suck. It's on the front of the case of the computer. The one I was using it on that was doing weird stuff. So that means I'm going to have to replace. Because I barely have any USB ports on this computer. I mean, I could put in a USB hub, uh, but my PCIe slots are pretty uh, well spoken for. I don't know what I'm going to do. <clears throat> No big deal. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, I got a little nervous there guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, that would be instant death by the way, guys in real life, obviously. Holy crap. I just barely touched it. It went flying over to the left. I was trying to adjust the uh, microphone here. No, oh, that's. It's kind of funny. Try to put together that Spotify list <clears throat> uh, tonight. Keep right. So hopefully. Hopefully, I'll get that out within the next two episodes. By what's well, eight, nine? So by episode ten, we should have a list made. Mm. 
200 meters. Turn left. Turn left. I don't need that on. My lights on? Yeah. Continue okay. straight. Yeah, no GPS in this truck. That's uh, they know. Uh, that's kind of crazy. You think that all these trucks would have GPS built into the dash? That's probably an older truck, right? An older Mack truck. I don't know much about trucks, like the Mack trucks and what they look like. For like new trucks and all that crap. My knowledge on trucking is very limited only by the people I know that actually truck in real life, so. I definitely have never driven a big rig in real life. I mean, I've driven big vehicles, but not like, I'm not hauling a hundred thousand pound loads. Kind of big. I don't think I could do it actually. Uh, what happened? Loan installment, eight grand down the, okay. I don't think I could handle, uh, handle it. It would just be too much. I thought about trucking when I was uh, trying to find a career path. Uh, it's a good ping, but uh, yeah. There's no way I could do it now with my legs, but. Uh, when I didn't have problems, health problems. Uh, I decided on uh, becoming a butcher. So, I was a meat cutter for a long time. Well, I started off uh, with uh, steel manufacturing. I worked a lot in steel shops with like, uh, have you ever seen a coin star? I probably built it not nine times out of 10. I probably I built it. The thing that you dump all your change into, if you don't know what a coin star is, the big green machine. Uh, I built uh, I built almost all of those. No joke. Twelve hours a day, every day for I don't know how many years. And then uh, I decided that hard labor wasn't for me. Like that, that was real hard labor, like sweatshop, basically. Then I did a little bit of a uh, window framing for a while, and then I. Keep left. <laughs> I seen too many injuries, and uh, I was like, nah. Like, I seen this one guy, the, he, he set down the uh, sliding glass door wrong, and it blew up in his face. Although, when I, I became a meat cutter, I seen a guy cut his own finger off uh, with the bandsaw. That was a hell of a sight. Keep left. And we had to throw away like thousands of dollars worth of meat too. And sanitize everything and yeah. Needless to say, that guy was fired. I mean, everybody told him that he was improperly cutting the chucks on the bandsaw. Keep left. Left. 
So yeah, I, n I never became a trucker. But it, it was an idea. When I was younger. watching YouTube the other day some guy was playing a game called Ice Road Truckers oh no Alaskan Truckers is what it was called Ice Road Truckers is a TV show I don't know if this is a T based on TV show or not either but the graphics were just absolutely terrible this guy's talking about how great it is and stuff I'm like wow dude this guy has never played American Truck Simulator. I don't know how this guy could have missed that. Yeah, it didn't. It didn't look good, in my opinion. It just looked really, really bad. Didn't look real at all. And it was supposed to be a truck sim. So we're talking like really. I don't. Maybe it was his computer or something, but it looked like. I think Euro Truck Simulator 1 looked better, you know, it's, it was bad. I was going to leave a comment and say, dude, you just need to try out American Truck Simulator, man, because <laughs> you're, uh, I just can't imagine playing that. It just looked so bad. The graphics and people say, oh, graphics aren't the main yeah, bullshit. It's the game, it's the mechanics. Yeah, well, graphics play a huge part in it. Huge. Especially when you're you're spending thousands of thousands of dollars. Like if you're not a if you're by PC, you wanna play stuff with good graphics, right? I mean that's just a given. I mean I game mechanics are are half of the battle, true. Like if it has bad game mechanics I won't play it, but Sometimes I can look over bad mechanics for, for if the graphics are good enough. Like that's, I know that sounds really bad because I'm like a retro gamer. So I love like all the old crappy graphics games, but uh, nowadays when I, when I play a new game, it's gotta have good graphics. And this guy, I don't think this game was very old. He was making it sound like it was new. So. Or newer. And I added a, a, a cat to my cab. I haven't been able to drive with him yet. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. Mod, I added a cat. It's a cat mod where you it's an animated cat I put him on the dashboard um, So yeah after we're done here, we're gonna do a load in my uh, in my truck so we can check out that mod Whoa, whoa, what's going on, dude? Why was it doing that? The wheel just started spinning. <sighs> Why do I have to pull in every time? Please pull in. Next lap, bitch. Dude, this guy's an idiot.
I didn't go that many miles. I don't understand why I'm having to pull off every single time. Every time we pass one. Episode 10 guaranteed will have a Spotify playlist and I'm going to start putting the songs I'm listening to on the screen so that you can uh, anybody can follow along. And uh, for the YouTube viewers, I'll, I'll have that in the description. And I'm also going to put it down below in the Twitch stream as well. Also. Anybody that wants to add songs to the list or recommendations, and I'll consider it. If it fits, uh, yeah, I'll put it in there. And maybe we could put like uh, credited by who who wanted the song next to the uh, list or something. I don't know. I don't know what we could do. I want to do something though. So that uh, you guys can listen to music uh, that are watching the VODs or the YouTubes. Without having to catch me live because I understand people work. Like right now a lot of people are at work. But it's a Tuesday and it's like early morning right now on the East Coast. East Coast, Eastern America, I guess. I'm not really on the coast. I wish I was on the coast. In fact, I've never seen the Atlantic Ocean. I've never seen the East Coast. Uh, I'm a Pacific. Uh, I, I mean, I was West Coast guy. You know, that's where I left. Where I grew up. But I hear the beaches in Florida are pretty amazing. <sighs> Someday maybe I'll make it to Florida before I die. Maybe. Been wasting a lot of time. Uh, trying to get my shit together. I'll probably never see Florida. Unless I come up on some, like... Unless money falls from the sky or something. I would like to take a vacation somewhere, like... Or not even a vacation, because I'm... I can't work, so it's not like I'm taking a vacation. But a holiday, or go out traveling... Uh, to a, a nice, warm, tropical, dreamy place. Like Hawaii, but Hawaii's too hot. Uh, I don't know, maybe Bahamas or 
There's some nice places like Cancun, uh, Mexico. Mexico might be fun. It's uh, so well, it depends on what part you go to, of course. It's gonna be dangerous no matter Left. no matter where you go in Mexico. But I wanna go somewhere where I'm not gonna get shot and then enjoy the beach. Yeah, that's the easy way of putting it. If I had one last wish, it would be to die on the beach with the sunset, right? But, you know, nobody dies like that. Well. Yeah. I mean, I could, if I really wanted to, I guess. Go live on the beach. Somehow. that show survivor but <laughs> meaning to watch survivor I didn't watch this season so sometimes I watch the uh, I've been watching like every season actually but sometimes I miss a season here and there I'm um, like yeah I think maybe I'll do that tonight watch some survivor I wish that uh, show with Sylvester Stallone would come back, that mobster one. Uh, I can't remember what it's called, but it's really good. On Paramount Plus. Uh, another good show is Yellowstone. Yellowstone's a great show with Kevin Costner. Um, it reminds me a lot of like Sons of Anarchy. Uh, like family like craziness and I know it's nothing like it because it's cowboys and shit but I don't know I just get like that that vibe certain vibe to it and uh, when you first look at it you might think oh this is a fucking soap opera hell no it's not I mean it's insanely good uh, if you get a chance, check out Yellowstone for sure. I think it's even free to watch now on, uh, I think it's called Tubi or something. I don't know. They put it on something for free. It used to be Paramount Plus. If you're looking for like a funny show, uh, I would say the funniest show I've ever seen, Trailer Park Boys. But you gotta understand, you gotta, you gotta be like a burnout to understand that show. Like you gotta have experienced stuff 
It's like that movie, uh, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. I showed some people that movie that never did drugs or alcohol. Like, they're like squares. And, uh, they didn't like it. I'm like, huh? I thought it was fucking hilarious. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's a certain type of person understand it but trailer park boys is absolutely hilarious that's on the netflix and then uh for war i would say band of brothers band of brothers is the best war show ever made nothing will ever top it i don't think i haven't seen anything come even close to band of brothers Am I supposed to get off here? Where are you, Terminator? Oh, no, I'm not. No, we're good. Oh, that's a hell of a drive. How many more miles? We got 200 more. in there it's like all backed up because of that guy that's weird So yeah, I, uh, we didn't play a game last night after the stream. I realized that. Uh, I actually fell asleep. But tonight, we will play a game, I, ho I hope. Uh, we're gonna take a break from this tonight. We're not gonna play this tonight. I don't think. I feel like I want to play a different car game, you know, just to try out this wheel, but I don't know what to play. I have so many car games. And uh, uh, a lot of car games are coming out this year that look good, but they're not out, so. I want to see a new Forza Horizon, that would be cool. But I don't think it would go good with the wheel. The Forza uh, Motorsport, I could play that. I, ha I have that on Game Pass. If my Game Pass hasn't ran out, I bought like five years or four years of Game Pass. And I think it ends this year. It might already be expired. Four years and I barely I barely used it to be honest with you guys uh, yeah I, I barely used it and honestly I think if I buy game pass again it's gonna be like on a monthly basis I dropped like over a hundred dollars it was and I got a good deal I had like a major good deal I like I there was a trick where you could buy uh, gold I think it's called gold xbox gold and then you could convert that into game pass so i bought like 40 years of gold and it was like super cheap at the time it was like black friday or something and i got like a really good deal and then i converted all that into game pass and had it for four years but it, it was i still spent like 150 bucks or something like that and uh I maybe played like 
not much of the Game Pass, to be honest. So, yeah. I think I'll just buy it on a monthly basis if I want to use it. I don't even know how much it is a month. Uh, so 150 might be a drop in the bucket compared to what it costs now. I don't know. I mean, it was nice to always have, like, games that just come out, you know, on the Game Pass. A lot of games were on there. I, you know, I tried them, but I never really got into them. play a lot of games I'm not like one of those people that play the same game forever unless it's Diablo if it's Diablo yeah I, I, I do kind of play that game forever but I switch out shit a lot I'll come back to games though a lot too I got a buddy who, who only wants to play like two games and doesn't want to play other games he doesn't understand that I, I get bored easily uh, after especially after I beat a game or I like get all the items in a game like uh, Call of Duty for instance if I have beaten that game and like gotten every piece of gear uh, and then all of a sudden like all these cheaters are like in there and, like it just doesn't it's no fun for me you know so Let's move on to a different game. Simple as that. But I gotta give respect to the people that are like so dedicated to one game. Like those guys that play Warzone all fucking day long and like that's all they play. That would make me go insane. Being bound to one game. How boring. I'll be playing this game for a long time. I can guarantee that. And they're coming out uh, because of the wheel. I spent a lot of money on a lot of stuff like the Track IR5 and the wheel. And yeah, I'm just like, this isn't a game I'm gonna like, this is a long-term game for me. And they're gonna come out with a new game engine for it. Next update, 150 I think they said. Somebody said it. I don't know who it was where I read it. But they're gonna have DirectX 12 and... I can't fucking see anything. Huh. Brutal weather mod is... Brutal. I'm sitting on like this gel cushion seat and it's sliding. I mean, I can, it kind of helps, but it don't help my legs, I'll tell you that. Uh, 
for you do any Diablo players. I hear they're gonna quit supporting Diablo 3 now that it was announced uh, today. I don't know, I didn't really play Diablo 3 much anyway. Like, I had my heyday with it, but uh, once Diablo 4 came out, I haven't really gone back to it. Hopefully they get their shit together. Uh, thank you. Oh, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Thanks for the support. What cheap graphics card would you recommend for ATS? Yeah, 1080, 1080 Ti uh, is pretty good. I played this game on a 1080 Ti, yeah. It just depends though because the they're gonna come out with a new game engine that's gonna support ray tracing so you might want to think about getting an rtx card so i would say if you can get like a 30 70 or um anything with rt wherever rtx starts i believe it's the 30 series keep right uh, exit right because you won't uh, with the 1080 ti you won't be able to use the um dlss features uh the auto print like right. in case you I need assist. in case you need more frames or you want it to look better it won't have that technology keep right and then turn right turn right Oh, shit. Ooh, that was close. They would be an option to turn off ray tracing. So yeah, no, no, no. It's only if you want it. Yeah, yeah. You don't need to have it. Uh-uh. No, if you're just looking for something to play the game, the 1080 will be perfect for you. I have a 1080 Ti actually sitting in my old PC. Great card. Lasted me forever. Yeah, very good card. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Yeah. This game doesn't require that much uh, resources to play it. It just depends on uh, what, what kind of options you want when they come out with the new engine. I oh, don't worry about it. There's no spelling Nazis here. You're okay. Yeah, this is a rather old game. Yeah. Yeah, I actually bought this game. Uh, and then never played well I played a little bit of it but then I just put it on the back burner and I just started playing it again recently and uh, I wound up buying like all the DLC all at once and continue straight I'm sure it's a lot better than it first when I first played it Turn left. There's a lot of mo mods that make it look cool Turn too. Turn left. And this game has a quite the following. It has its own like You've little arrived. community Hasta and stuff. Vista, baby. So you know it's not gonna die if you're gonna do any uh, multiplayer or anything. I don't want to use the word cult, but it does have a cult following.
so to speak. The bro the it's lagging for you? Yeah, I'm not dropping any frames. Xbox. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like Xbox. Uh I didn't know. I thought this game was on the Xbox. I didn't know that it wasn't. I got a Series X. I play it once in a while. I haven't played it in probably a couple months though. Let's see. Wow, that's pretty damn good pay. Wow. The G25? Hmm. Oh, what do you got? Like the Halo version or something? So it looks like this is the closest job with decent pay. Oh, maybe we could do that one. Mm. Hold on, where am I located? I don't even know where I'm located. Where did I, I left my truck here? Oh, I'm in, I'm in Washington. Why is it, uh, that's weird. Hmm. Well, I definitely would like to take $85 a mile, but that's all the way in Texas. So, and there's no way to teleport there. And I'm not going to drive all the way to Texas to pick up freight and then move it. Or all the way to Kansas. No, it is Texas to Kansas. Yeah. I wish there was like a teleport feature. Am I, maybe I'm missing it. Like 114 a mile, but yeah, I'm not in Texas. 
I guess I'll just take uh closest to me uh forty two in a mile. Ooh, that's a drive. We'll just take that job, I think. 40K. Yeah. And I think I could buy a new truck for my uh, workers. Uh, how much money do I have? Let's see. If I use truck for him. Seven thousand miles. That's not too bad. I kind of want the Kenworth, though. I think we'll give him the Kenworth. Yeah, we'll buy that one. Hundred K. Ooh, I'm going to be broke. So it looks like this guy is good with chemicals. Hazardous cargo. We'll put him on that. Hopefully he doesn't blow up my truck. All right, now he better get his ass to work. Okay, let's go. My mission is to protect you. Come with me if you want to live. Parking brake is on. All right. meters turn right feels good to be back turn in my right. truck quick jobs are good though for uh, making fast cash 
And you don't have to drive to pick up your cargo, which is always nice. We got a ferry coming through or something. Keep right, and then turn right. Turn right. Should've got gas back there. left oh my god all right that cat <laughs> that's a cool mod he's all posing right and then exit right I insist <laughs> exit right I insist
Ah, uh, damn you, Amazon. Still getting used to these pedals. They're so. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to stop and get gas somewhere, too. Let's see. I think we'll pull off in here. Let's see. A closer one. That one's kind of closer. Or Eugene. Hmm. Wait a minute. Am I really going that far to pick up the cargo? That can't be right. What? No way. This map confuses me. How many miles did it say when we were in drive mode? 856 miles to pick up cargo? No, that ain't happening. Oh, hell no. No, no way. What the fuck is going on? I'm going the opposite way, but it told me to go this way. Oh, it wants me to drive all the way there and all the way back? You're smoking crack. No fucking way. The red flag should be where you pick up your cargo. <clears throat> I'm not understanding this map at all. So I'm in Washington right now. There's nothing in Washington state that I can pick up. Are you kidding me? Why wouldn't there be any jobs in Washington? That doesn't even make sense. Is the game broken? Oh, here's a Washington one under external contracts. But it pays... <clears throat> it pays trash. The Christmas event, but I, I don't like the Christmas event. Hmm. Unbelievable. We'll take this one, I guess. 106 pound load. <coughs> Great. I 
Yeah, we'll take that one. You're about to set up for heavy haul job. Yeah. All right, we'll just do that. You're coming with me. I'm the Terminator. Let's drive. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, like, I'm not gonna try. That was insane what it was requesting. And there's no way to teleport to the freight that I know of. I mean, there might be, but I don't know of how to do that. And, uh, yeah, there's. I'm not driving 900 miles to pick up freight and then drive another 900 miles. No, not happening. It should Keep just. Right. It w then exit right. It should I just insist. put your damn truck where the freight is to pick it up. Uh, exit right. I, I don't insist. know. I don't know why it doesn't do that, but it should. Like a quick job. I mean, that's a major issue. Keep left. Then turn left. I don't know. Maybe I'll have to look into uh, how to teleport. Maybe there's like a modification that will allow me to do that because. Turn left. I want to be hauling freight. I don't want to be driving to the freight the whole game, you know? Like, this seems like a total waste of time. Sure, if it was Can real. Straight. I understand it's a simulator, but damn. We still need to pick up gasoline somewhere. Oh, oh we just passed the station too. I want to pick up that before I start hauling a hundred and wait, I don't know how big this will go here first to pick up gas. I'm looking for Sierra Connor, but we can go to your destination first. Continue straight. Two hundred meters, turn right. Turn right.
the hell is that sound? What's that mean? Did I miss the turn? Is that what that means? No, it's right up here, so... Maybe because I'm breaking the law? Driving in the middle lane? <laughs> Continue straight. Continue straight. Keep right, and then turn right. And then turn right. Hmm. Turn right. Okay. Turn left. No kidding. Button, turn off the engine, let's get some gas. Alright. We're good to go. Um maybe we should do an upgrade as well. Is there an upgrade place? No. Well, I've hauled this before, but it only goes like at half speed. In the last load, we did it a a hundred pound, a hundred thousand pound load. It drove at like half the speed and had a problem getting up hills. And we're going to be going up hills the whole time because we're going from. I think we're going. Yeah, the job. We, I think it's. It's up in Everett. I think so it's all uphill. Pretty much. I mean, there's a lot of hills. Hmm. I can't afford to upgrade, so I guess we're just going to have to go with this right now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm down to 10k. That's like super broke. My workers better start earning some money or they're gonna straight. I'm gonna start firing people. Dude, there's nobody here. I'm just gonna go through it. I don't care. It's just I mean No, you know do that kind of stuff. In the simulator, but I don't care. these wheels ouch
at the roundabout. Take the second exit. What the hell? A roundabout in America? I don't think I... Well, maybe I have seen a roundabout. It's very rare that you see these in America. Very rare. Unlike uh, Euro Truck Sim that has them all over the place. Europe, I guess, has a lot of roundabouts. I don't know. Like, I think in America, we drink a lot of alcohol here. And people would be, like, smashing into each other a lot. Of course, Europe, they're drinkers, too. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I can't imagine having that many roundabouts. I never liked roundabouts ever. I think it's a stupid design. Continue straight and then turn left. Extremely dangerous too. Turn left. Yeah, yeah. I'm turning left. Chill out there, Terminator boy. In 200 meters, turn right. Turn right. All right, we're here to pick up the load. Off road. The cat's all chilling. He's like, Yeah, no big deal. I better slow down or I'm gonna damage my truck. This is one long ass road. For being dirt. If this is the hundred, this is the hundred thousand pound load. It's going to be really hard to rip pull this through this, uh, dirt road. I think what we'll do is we'll save it. And I'll be back in a minute. I need to use the facilities. I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back. My leg's super swollen right now. We can play a little bit longer though. Hold on a minute. Hmm. That's strange. All right, anyway. Yeah, something's off there. Hmm. Okay, let's go back. I left it running. Oh, what a place to put that. See if I can snag the back end of it. We'll yank it out. To get the tooth on the side here. Might be able to do it. Maybe. Get you here, trust me. Let's get out of here. Oh, the log is going to be in my way. the hell I got the pedal to the metal what is going on here got the gas down V never works. I don't know why it says that every time. We're caught on that log, I think. And putting in reverse is gonna be impossible, but let's do it for 
Shits and giggles. Yeah, I'm, this is just pissing me off at this point. Hmm. I'm just in no mood for this. Dig, dig, dig. Come on, you can't get over a little log. Bad idea, I guess. What the fuck is happening here? Yo, what the fuck is going on? Oh, it, it, oh, really? Are you serious? This is not where I was. I'm the Terminator Cybertron System Model 101. Shut up. I swear I will get you to your destination. Trust me. This load is too heavy for me. Cause look, I'm not even moving. Even though I hauled this before this weight. I knew this was going to be a problem with the dirt roads. I have the gas completely floored.
200 meters. Turn left. Turn left. In 200 meters, turn right. Turn right. Continue straight. My load, I don't know if I'm able to get that. Okay, yeah, it's alright. If this is an oversized load, I should have an escort for this. But I don't, so, I mean, I guess we'll give it a shot. I think I damaged the load though. I know I certainly damaged the truck. When I let go and it went backwards, you should unlock differential regular driving. I don't, okay. Oh no, not the roundabout. I hate this stupid thing. Wait, why are we going backwards? That doesn't even make sense, bro. What the fuck? Well, that's certainly not the location I'm supposed to go to. It's telling me to go back? Why? Dude, this map is so fucked. And what is this yellow garbage everywhere? Is that like an alternative route? Like, I, I don't understand this yellow crap. If anybody knows what the yellow lines are, please tell me, because... This map is so hard to fucking read. I, I don't even know it. So does it think I'm not on a job or something? What I do, steal their cargo? Like You sent me from the future to save you. Let's go. It must be glitched. It's telling me to go back. There's no fucking way I'm going back. Okay, I'm just gonna quit this job. Because it's, it's not working properly. How fucking... I need somebody to explain this map to me in detail. Okay, so I picked up the fucking cargo from here, right? And then it wants me to turn around and go back. Why? Why would I do that? I think it's supposed to be delivered up here somewhere. But I wouldn't know because it doesn't show me.
Okay, obviously the, the fucking thing's glitched. I, I want to know what those yellow lines mean on the map. Really do. Because it's, it's just so fucking annoying seeing them. What are the yellow lines on the map on American Truck Simulator? Secret roads or unmarked roads in Euro Truck Simulator 2. American Truck Simulator are accessible roads that are not marked on the map. No, that's not what I said. Remove yellow lines from map. American Truck Simulator. General question. Everywhere you have driven, the road turns yellow on the GPS map. You can somehow just... Picked up a job on World of Trucks. Now it says to go back, but doesn't show GPS to destination for drop off. Fix. American Truck Simulator. Missing drop off points. I arrived at what I think is supposed to be my destination. You could be using an icon replacer mod, but I'm not. <clears throat> I don't know what to do, guys. Uh, I'm going to try to drop the load, actually. Uh, that might work. I, I, I don't know. I'm going to try to detach the trailer and reattach. Stop. The more contact I have with humans, the more I learn. So let's get started. Drive. In need of a Terminator? No problemo. I will join the ride. Let's move. Let's see if this fixes it. That actually did fix it. And I didn't read it either. I came up with that on my own. So now I know how to fix shit when it gets fucked up. Okay. I was, yeah, that's perplexing. I wonder if it happened when I loaded. It could have, but then it threw me back into the wreck. Okay. So yeah, if, if anybody ever runs Look into that problem, problem just detach and reattach. Mm -hmm. God, I'm glad I didn't go back because what a waste of time that would have been. So the yellow lines is the roads you've driven before. I don't even think that's a necessity. Unless you're trying to explore the entire map. They should give you a toggle. Uh, it's just annoying in a way. Continue straight. I'm 
mean, it's all right. It's oh, I could probably toggle it off on the map, huh? Maybe under the map legends, maybe. I don't know. I'll have to look at the filter. Continue straight. I think it, uh, it's fine. It's just it bugged me before because I didn't know what the fuck it was. I thought maybe it was like alternative routes or some weird thing. I don't see anybody. I'm running. Running it. Wow, this is the longest night I have ever experienced in this game. Feels like it's been nighttime for ever. Keep right. Napa Auto Supply. right and then exit right I insist exit right I insist interesting view view I've been here many times IRL I mean continue straight I've been everywhere actually in Washington State there's probably not one place you could take me to that I haven't been to. Continue straight. Keep right, and then turn right. Turn right.
left. Good old I-5. Surprise it's not raining. Maybe it's summertime. Well, it rains in the summer too. <laughs> left. Finally the sun's coming up. Jeez. Felt like we were in the dark forever. Keep left. Yes, sir. I was kind of <clears throat> sad to hear about them not doing any more updates for Diablo 3 but uh, I've already moved on anyway to Diablo 4 so it's all good I just hope that they're uh, actually able to give us a better product when it comes to Diablo 4 it, uh, it seems to be lacking content otherwise I'd be playing it right now there's a Tacoma Dome to calm my heart. Keep left. I lived in Tacoma. For 
many years. I lived all over in Washington, Everett, Linwood, a bunch of other places. White station, huh? Okay, they're damaged. Nice. We're gonna get stopped at every single wait station. Turn left. song always reminds me of beer and loving in Las Vegas. I'm just going to take a second here, guys. I'm not gonna lie, my foot hurts really bad and my legs, but with this uh, gas pedal, I don't know if it's because it's a new, brand new gas pedal thing, but pressing down on it is uh, like it's about 10 times harder than you would press on a car gas pedal. like a real life one i don't know if i if i just got jacked when i i bought this 
Like they gave me like a screwed up one or something, but it's very stiff. And as far as I know, there's no way to adjust it to loosen up the, uh, the pedals. So it's a budget wheel is what it is. And I was sad to see that it didn't even come with a shifter. So. Which reminds me, I need to order the part, uh, a wire to, uh, r try to put together the old, uh, H, H shifter. But obviously I'll have to do that off stream. left oh seattle so we can see that yeah to the left there you can see the space needle way over there in the distance yeah i knew it'd rain Oh, if you're a smoker using track IR5, it will interfere with the camera movement like this. Watch. Well, that time it didn't do it, but it'll flick off and then flick back on sometimes. So just be warned. Like that right there, the way that it flicked, that was because of the cigarette cherry. Apparently it thinks it's like infrared or something. Maybe, I don't know how infrared lighting works. Maybe it's heat signature. I don't have no idea. I hate Seattle traffic, I know that. Let's take up turn left. Wait, what? What do you say? Bypass a wait station? Oh my god. It's about time. <clears throat> Keep 
right, and then exit right, I insist. Exit right, I insist. Keep right, and then turn right. Turn right. Cat is awesome addition to the cab. I gotta say that's a pretty cool mod. Whoa. Now they just need to make a dog. Like a, a pug or something for the dash. <laughs> that would be really cool. Or a dachshund or something, a small dog. I like cats though. We have a lot of cats. We take care of the ones also that get abandoned. We live by these uh, apartments where uh, it's like section eight. So the people that live there, they, uh, when they leave, they usually get kicked out unfortunately for them but they leave their cats behind like why would you do that like abandoning family members and shit I don't know how anybody could do that to their animals so I got hit cool I don't know how I got hit but right on Quite honestly, guys, I'm in so much pain right now that uh, I'm going to have to call it uh, as soon as we get to the location. I'm thinking about even just stopping right here, but I'm going to continue through so that we can finish episode eight. And then uh, we'll play this again tomorrow uh, morning. And tonight we'll be playing something different. Maybe not even a car game. I don't know. Meters. Turn left. Turn left. Oh shit. Shit, 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 shit. Fucking thing didn't put the brake on, bro. Turn right. I like the, how the cat's like, no fucks given.
Um, um, I got the gas down and I'm going backwards, guys. My, my foot hurts so fucking bad at this point. What the fuck is my Xbox controller? Fuck this. I mean, this is so stupid that it does this to me. Not gonna recognize the controller now. Fuck you. Fuck. Huh. Well, my foot hurts too much to care. Yeah, we're we're done, guys. Um, I'm probably gonna take this and uh, and try to figure out if I can loosen up the pedal or something. It's literally like having to like step on nails right now. Um, and I don't know why this doesn't work. It worked fine previously. But I, I mean, It just refuses to do anything. Huh. Okay. I really don't want to give up since we're like right here, but I mean, it's, it's being completely stupid right now. Fine, let's go backwards then.
kind of indicator as to why I'm stuck. Wonder if I drop the load. Fuck it, let's drop the load. If I let go of the load, it might go flying backwards though. I didn't even touch anything and it went into the cab camera. to do it's not fun when you're like right there at the very end and then it uh and then it does that to you it just doesn't it's just not fun for me so uh i'm gonna call it here um yeah how disappointing that we couldn't finish the run i'm sorry guys uh I don't know what to do. I mean, there's only one thing I could think of, and that's just to remove the mod. Uh, maybe it's the physics mod. That's the only possibility that I could think. Uh, well, we can just check real quick and see if that's what it is. I, I really hate leaving without... Okay. Um... Realistic physics mod. Yeah. So we'll try, I'll try it real quickly and see if that's the problem. <clears throat> Or, or his controls. You're coming with me. I'm the Terminator. Let's drive. No, it actually wasn't a physics mod. Well, at least we can rule that out of being the problem. Oh, wait, the brake's on?
don't know what to do. American Truck Simulator stuck with freight cannot make it up hill. Let's see what people suggest. It seems this guy has the same problem. Call for a tow. Reset to an earlier save, it doesn't allow me to do that because it's an external job. Differential lock, I've tried that, doesn't work. Some assholes telling this guy if you. I can see these truck games are not for you. If you can't solve a problem. Oh my god, what a dickhead. Yeah, looks like I might have to abandon this job, guys. How sad. After all that time that we drove, and this thing won't, refuses to go up the hill. Isn't there like a, a way to call for help? Like, isn't there like F5 or some shit? Service guy or... moving in the grass oh my gosh
Oh, he was moving for a minute there. Push. Dig, you bitch. Dig. Unbelievable. I don't believe it. I just messed with the uh, the B button, the shift differential, or whatever it's called. I just kept knocking it back and forth, and finally it's giving me a little. Yeah. Holy crap. Well, well, hopefully, we don't run into any more of that, but look at the road. Look how far we have to go. Hopefully, yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens. They got all these windy roads. It's not going to be easy. And you're not allowed to reload uh, on this game because it's a World of Trucks uh, mission. So if I wreck, that's it. I don't want to slow down because I'm scared we're going to have a problem. Right, like right here. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think the ship differentials. My chair's slipping, dude. Yeah, it's just not going to go up that hill. There's no way. Wait, what if... Okay, guys. Huh. Mission failed. Um, I'm gonna actually, you know, what? I'm gonna just leave it here. Don't care. I know where you're going, and I will get you there. Trust me. Let's get out of here. Yeah, we're done. They can, uh, they can keep that shit for all I care. Or I can just stay here and as a lost load. Uh, I don't even know how to leave the fucking uh, game actually. I just, I, I actually just want to go to my shop at this point. Quick travel. Look at that. There is a quick travel. Select destination. Okay. I don't even know how to abandon jobs either. How do I abandon job?
unless um, they're gonna try to force me to finish it. You got, yeah, right. Good luck. What a dumb fucking, uh, yeah. So I think that's going to do it, guys. I, I'm in so much pain right now. Good game. Actually, no, it wasn't a very good game at the end, but we had fun at least up until that point. Then it was a lot of, um, uh, yeah. Yeah, no. <laughs> at the very end, too, it was like just around the corner and I would have got it, but uh, it is what it is. Um, so... We won't be doing any more 100,000 pound hauls until we're able to actually have enough money to upgrade the truck. Uh, and uh, that's going to do it for me. So thanks for uh, watching. I'll be back later tonight with something different other than this. And uh, we'll play this tomorrow morning or afternoon. If I don't see you again, take care and stay safe. Later, everybody.